the crypto's rich boy today we're going to be talking about bitcoin but before we get started guys go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and share it with your friends now we have a couple updates on bitcoin but let's check the price out first real quick we have the price coming up uh coming in at uh positive 1.38 percent at 2317. Now we have a couple updates. There is an AMA in the Bancoin Telegram um, today. I believe it's at 1 p.m. If you guys want to hop on over, there are going to be some updates um, in regarding what's going on. Ben Armstrong has been kind of quiet. He kind of came out and said he's not BitBoy. Then he came out and said that he's ready to defend the BitBoy brand. So I think we're going to get a little bit more updates on that today. Also, it sounds like version 2 is coming out on the 18th, um, which there should be some clarification on that in the updates at 1 p.m. today uh, through the Telegram group. I, I believe that we're probably going to get those updates as well, but um, <clears throat> it sounds like they are also trying to see if uh, they are going to be able to uh get mexi to support this so if you guys are um subscribed to the channel i will keep you guys updated with that so austin the coo says tomorrow which is today friday september 15th at 1 p.m eastern Standard time join cassie and austin on the join ben youtube channel for the live streamed ama Ben had an emergency court hearing today and will know more about things. This was yesterday. We'll know more about things uh, moving forward after Tuesday. Until then, he has asked. Uh, he was asked by his attorneys to refrain from saying anything publicly. These are positive for moving developments. Can't wait to chat with you all tomorrow, which is today, and answer all of your submitted questions. So guys, so it looks like the uh, the AMA is today um, on their their join their join Bitcoin YouTube channel. So if you guys haven't uh, seen or if you guys haven't um, you know subscribe to that one, go ahead and do so um, before you know before one o'clock because right now it's about eleven. So you guys have about two hours to do so. Let's go ahead and check out the Twitter. They got their Twitter back. 34.3 thousand followers. So August 27th, this has been TJ Shed and Justin Williams have attempted a coup at my company. Just conf uh, confirming what goes around comes around. It's true. There has been a mutiny at BitBoy Crypto and Hit Network, but it won't work. They have no leverage until they can clone me. I have nothing to worry about. So I was also uh, listening to another um, Twitter space. I think it was on Twitter space. And um, one of the, the YouTubers, I guess, clipped it. And in this YouTube video, there is a lawyer that says even with the majority holdings, even at 67%, there are certain things like um, they said there are certain things that will – the courts will say, you know what, even though you, you, you have 67%, this is not going to work pretty much. And the first thing is the safety of, of the employees, which, you know, the allegations, allegedly, there were safety concerns. Now, me personally, I'm more Team Ben um, Armstrong, so I like to think, you know, the Hit Network found this out, and they're like, you know what? let's go ahead and put this in like he including things like groping and and throwing protein i mean come on guys i mean really that's that's the best you can come up with throwing protein like he could have just been mad at i don't know i mean i i know that he was in in the steak thing which which to clarify i didn't know this but steak was paying one million dollars a month and here's a clarification so cassie or cassandra she got that deal for them and it was supposed to be 10 percent, which was a hundred thousand dollars a month they talked about it um they eventually came to conclusion that that's a lot of money so they said listen let's do fifty thousand dollars a month 
which is still a ton of money for now. And that's why um, they said, quote, unquote, Ben was stealing money. No, that was the agreement for the stake partnership. And that's why they and it was because of her. And, you know, what he did in his personal life, I don't really agree with, with cheating or, or infidelity, <clears throat> but people make mistakes and things happen, but that shouldn't affect, theoretically, the business. As long as they privately have come to conclusion, which, from what I can see, his wife and him have worked it out, then I think they should be able to proceed with how they're going to proceed. Um, so that is, um, something else that I kind of wanted to, to talk about, but so the safety of the employee of the employees, and then, um, I think they did mention stealing. He said those two things, <clears throat> if, if the employees are not safe and, uh, there are certain protocols and procedures to make, make everybody protect it. Um, so the money, um, if, 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 even if that person has the majority or two thirds and they're stealing, like, you know, they have to get the permission for the other one third. Right. So, um, that 50,000, you know, he, they had to be in agreement. And if one partner says, no, we don't want to do that, then they have to go about it in other means. So if you think about it, hit network was like, they took those two things. There's their safetyness of their, their employees and the money. And they threw that out there which I, I think it's total baloney, but that's just me. Um, so I'm definitely team team Ben Armstrong. Uh, hopefully he can get the name back. He worked very hard. I was actually looking at his videos from five years back. If you guys go and go oldest first, look at his videos five years back. It's literally just him on a green screen. Nobody else. TJ wasn't there. Uh, Justin wasn't there. AJ wasn't there, DZ wasn't there, nobody, nobody was there. It was just Ben Armstrong. That's it. He created this brand. He should be able to keep his brand, right? They're even, you know, they're even selling some of his, uh, some of his belongings, like um, saying, "Oh, Ben didn't want this anyway." Like, come on. So, uh, his like one million. It was like a bottle, and it was like one million subscribers. And uh, they were trying to sell it. Just give it back to Ben, right? Even if he says he doesn't want it, he probably does. I mean, he probably just said that because you guys are taking his channel and it has his channel on there, right? So major announcements. Um, they So we have made two major updates to the Bitcoin executive team in the best interest of the community and the holders. Cassie is our new CEO. And Austin is the new COO. Ben remains executive chair. The changes made to the Ben executive team signals a promising trajectory of growth and innovation with new perspectives and skill set. We are ready to take the company to new heights. The future is bright. Now, here's the thing. I think they did this. It was a brilliant move. I think Ben's going to court. If he has any type of CEO, COO um, <clears throat> um, kind of jurisdiction, I think... Maybe it could be uh, since Hit Network kind of, you know, they have an agreement. Maybe they can kind of come after that too. So I think it could be for safety reasons legally, um, but I'm not sure the actual official, you know, the official reasoning behind it. But that's that's what I'm kind of I'm seeing. So also, if you want to be an ambassador, come join the team as an official Bitcoin ambassador today. Help spread the message and opportunities that Bitcoin will be opening up to the crypto world. Got the application below. Um, now, I would fill it out, but I know I know Ben, he's kind of made it to where he wants people to show their face. I am doxxed, but it's just, I do these videos kind of on my break times from work. I don't have time to put on the camera and do the editing, so this just takes up, you know, this is a lot easier for me. I don't have a problem with it, but I just, uh, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll, I'll sign up for it. We'll see. So get exclusive access to direct access um, to team members, monthly Bitcoin team and ambassador meetings, including key updates and ambassador objectives, early access to upcoming news and strategies. So um, <clears throat> I do think that once this whole hiccup can get 
solved. Bump in the road can get solved. I think Bitcoin will do very well. Now, if you think about it, the whole entire market is kind of just trading sideways. So right now, if this had to happen, this would be the best time. So <clears throat> some people have their conspiracy theory, like, is this really going on to kind of drive the bin price down so that people can get into it at a better price before the bull run? Who knows? I don't think so, but who knows, right? Um, so anyway, guys, that is my updates with Ben Armstrong. BitBoy, you know, I, I, I still like to think think of him as as being able to get that back I, I really hope so i mean if you go go watch his videos from five years back four years back i mean you can clearly see he built the brand ben armstrong built the brand he deserves to have the brand not hit network he does so um anyway like this video subscribe to the channel let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below Till next time guys